Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I am Chef Marcus Giuliano and I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is the top 50 mistakes that restaurant tours make. These mistakes are so easy to make, but they're so easy to correct. Mistake number 33 actually is a lot of restaurant tours don't talk nice about their competition. They just really don't talk nice and you know a lot of chefs are like that to begin with. They're just, you know, nasty and arrogant and they think that they're the best and, you know, they see what other people do. And it's, you know, I, I've been in that many times where I don't talk nice about my competition. And, you know, it's just it's not worth it, especially my local competition. And I've had issues. I've had really bad issues with some local competition. And, you know, I'd like to think that I didn't start it <clears throat> at all. But, you know, just think it gets, you know, just pointless to why are we doing this we should be working together on how to get more business to our town to our village to our street for the cause and how do you get more people in you know I mean of course I have my truth in menu blog where I go out and I actually look for people that are lying and not local people I look for chefs across the country mostly big name chefs that are actually lying about the food that they serve or misrepresenting and be the like the advocate for truth in menu that's of course a totally different thing than me just talking bad about the person across the street, the Chinese restaurant, Mexican, Japanese, whatever it is, the Italian restaurant. You know, we're all in it for the same dollar and we all have to work together. And when you work together, things can happen. You know, if there's three or four restaurants right there in a row, nobody should be charging, you know, a lot less or a lot more for the same beer, for the same drink. You know, you're all, you all deserve to make fair profits. You all deserve to make money based upon your investment and your time spent in your restaurant. So to out try to outdo the restaurant next to you with cheaper products, the same products that are cheaper, doesn't make sense. You all need to work together and say, you know what, this is what we all need to do to make money. This is how much we should all charge. And you know, let's not try to make it harder for us to make money since the restaurant industry is not, it's not an easy thing to make money to begin with. So with that being said, you need to network around with your local restaurant tours and you need to find out what everybody's paying for, you know, waste service. You need to find out whether they're paying for oil and for gas or whatever you guys are buying. Find out and then you can go to these companies and say, hey, you know what, this is what, it's what I know other restaurants are paying or this is what I know the price should be going. That's where you can really save a lot of money and that goes back to beating up, you know, your uh, competition, you're beating up your vendors for prices for goods and services. When you can go to a propane company and say, I know the price is $1.89 because other restaurants are paying it or this or this, you know, it makes it a lot easier when you guys work together. So work together. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Thanks for watching. So I've been running my restaurant Aroma Time for 10 years in the Hudson Valley. I used to be one of those restaurant owners that was married to my business, couldn't leave. The restaurant wouldn't be open if I wasn't here. I didn't trust anybody. I turned everything around been here 10 full years like I've said I've defeated all the odds I opened up this fine dining restaurant upscale restaurant in a small depressed community um, I've learned a lot I've made a lot of mistakes and that's how I can confidently say I can help you I can switch that mindset I can teach you uh, tips and techniques that I've learned by doing it myself and then masterminding with some of the top restaurateurs in the country and marketing geniuses. It's been a great 10 year run. I don't regret a single part of it. Now the thing is I work on my business. I don't work my business, which is a totally different thing. I can teach you how to do that. It's so simple with the tips and tools and techniques. Um, owning a restaurant can be a lot of fun and I want to show you how to have fun in your restaurant. So please, send me an email.